Voters in the Gwen Area Community School District have a big proposal on their November ballot. TV6's Tristan Kendrick spoke with the district superintendent about what voters should consider before making a decision. The aging floor at Gwen High School would get much needed repairs if voters approve a proposed school bond. Voters in the Gwen Area Community Schools District would see a 30.9 million, 3.1 mills bond request on their ballots for the November 5th election. Superintendent Sarah Crony says the bond would help renovate and add to the joint middle high school building. Adding on a new auxiliary gym, uh, renovating tech ed areas, renovating the kitchen, more space, renovating science labs. The labs are pretty well in need because this building is 62 years old. Crony says phase two would involve relocating both neighborhood elementary schools to the middle high school and having one campus. She says the district tried to do this last November, but it failed because it was too costly for taxpayers. If this bond is approved, a Gwen homeowner with a $100,000 taxable value home would see an annual cost of $160. That's $13 a month. Crony also says having more resources in the science and tech departments would motivate students to join the trades. Our students, about 50%, go into skilled trades. Our community is crying for that. We want our students to stay around here. Skilled trades will stay around here. Crony also says having a brand new state-of-the-art athletic facility with new things like pads are going to benefit all sports and it would allow more teams to practice at the same time. Right now, we're renting a space called The Cave over at K.I. Sawyer and we're grateful for that. But there's distance and travel now that you've added another 15 minutes on adding time for when our kids can even get home after practice because they have to share. This week, we contacted several different voters in the district who have spoken in opposition to the bond. None of them got back to us. Crony says the tax increase would be worth it for area students. The district also answers many frequently asked questions about the bond on its website. Tristan Kendrick, TV6 News, Gwen.